I'm starting to think you have too many sunglasses there are shades, Chris. I can never throw enough shade. It, why are you... You know what? I'm John Ritland. This is... The Derpinator. And throwing shade. And this is a SmackDown Live on Fox Las Vegas Review. And I know it's not a high bar, but it was better than last week. Yeah, it was also... Was it better than Raw? Eh. Eh. We'll figure this out as yeah, we go along. We will. One, again, the set does look great. Yes. I am very worried. I was very... The superior set. I was... No, nothing's genetically superior. Moving on. Uh, first night of the draft. So, yeah. Okay. I thought it was a bit chilly. Yeah. Yeah, Kayla Braxton yeah. tweeted something uh, like that. And they start off with a match between Seth Rollins and the Big Dog. Uh, yeah, we get here. Roman Reigns. Here comes the Big Dog, and every time Michael Cole says that, commentary dies a little bit. Mm. You were bad at your job, Michael Cole. Um, uh, Vince needs to talk to you. It's boss time? <laughs> I think at this point he might say that. So, yeah, Universal Champion Seth Rollins and Roman Reigns. Uh, the winner picks first, and they do the shield fist bump, while the other one is doing a lot of shit in New Japan and AEW. Mm -hmm. Actually, hopefully he's doing wrestling and not shit. Moving on. They were two-thirds of the shield. Yes. Okay, mm -hmm. cool. All right. Let's revisit that, because those reunions worked out well. Um, it was fine. The match was fine. I don't think the reunion would work out too well for them right now. No, it wouldn't. We need to get Dad Kurt Angle back in there. God, how goddamn happy he looked. I just want Mox to just, like, show up in the crowd one day with a beach ball and then just, like, pass it around for a bit, then take it and go home. He would do that. Take his ball and go home? Yeah. yeah. Should have guessed. That's where you were going with it. So moving on from that, we get a pedigree out of the spear. Yeah, that and was then... an interesting encounter. I yeah. haven't seen it in a while. Yeah. It was last time, actually, no, last time it was, like, Money in the Bank 2016, so it's been a while. And then suddenly, all the spoopiness and everything, because we're near Halloween. Seth Rollins is wildly looking around. He's like, where is the fiend? I know he's, yeah, I know he's gonna do it. But where's he gonna be? Is he outside the ring? Is he under the ring? He's under the ring. Uh, there's a trap door. They haven't done this in a while, but they drag. He drags Seth Rollins using the mandible claw down into the depths of hell, and then he immediately pops back up after a little bit of smoke. And smoke and stuff like that. I guess that's what the Street Profits meant. And so, the fiend just kind of like pops out like, Hi. No. Uh, with this, at least thankfully British Bulldog and others were not involved in this trapdoor incident. That was when the Ultimate Warrior did that at War Games 98. Or British Bulldog. I still remember when, I believe it was King that did that. Too, yeah, he busted through the ring, actually. Yeah, but this... Okay, cool. He showed up. And then we get to find out draft picks a little bit later. So, yeah, they show the Raw and the SmackDown draft rooms because they're trying to treat this like a sport. And they got some idiot in the freaking Fox robot. And I didn't care. It's shit. It's fucking shit. Domo Regato, Mr. Roboto. Domo. Domo. So, look, I get it. Fox paid a ton of money for this. They're going to add a more sports-oriented... <laughs> theme here and a lot of what they did was fucking horrible speaking of fucking horrible let's get on to the next match which was actually no it's not a match it's Stephanie McMahon coming out Chris oh no that was a match with my sanity I'm sorry yeah, there there you go. I think we all did not miss Stephanie McMahon on TV and if you if you did okay cool whatever I don't understand why but we didn't get draft picks and because Raw is three hours Smackdown is two hours Smackdown gets two picks Raw gets three picks every round. Yep. We had four rounds this whole thing. Becky, the Raw Women's Champion, is going to Raw. <gasps> Shocking. Roman Reigns, who's been on SmackDown and Raw because of the wild card rule, which is... He's staying on SmackDown. Yeah. And the wild card rule is dead forever. They will never bring it back. They're going to bring it back some point. Not a great WWE on Fox. Um, that's a good Twitter account, by yeah, the way. That is a great account. Yeah, but Reigns on SmackDown. Styles, Gallows, and Anderson, or as you call them, the Ah. Um, come up with a better name and I'll actually call him by that. Okay. The Ron Rock. Ah! Not you, creative. You were creative with how you did that. But anyway, they're on Raw. And then we get Bray on SmackDown. So unless we're going to say somehow get Ray the WWE And I like how they had the, uh, the <coughs> Fiends theme music, but just normal Bray Wyatt. So somebody actually said we get the Fiend on Raw and we get Bray Wyatt on SmackDown. Which would be weird. They could do it. Yowie, wowie, I don't like to fight. Yeah, they would do. 
it's almost something about Dallas. Anyway, which is actually kind of pain. So, yeah, um, unless this ends up with like Ray somehow winning the WWE Championship, which would be terrifying mm -hmm. um, at this point in his career, and somebody, and you know, Bray wins it, they ain't gonna have Bray take it off of Brock. There ain't a goddamn chance they're gonna yeah. have that happen. They should, but. Well, we'll get to we'll get to something on Ray soon. Then they talk about Drew McIntyre coming back from injury being on Raw. Drew McIntyre is a future world champion. Ha! 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 Oh, I want to believe that WWE, but I, I do don't too. Think, I don't think you believe it. That's the he problem. He deserves it. Yeah, just it, Drew is really good, but they missed three golden opportunities with him. Yeah, but you know the return pop can always be something good. Drew, unless they. True for Drew, unless they screw it up, which they could. Unless they drew it up. <clears throat> that's that's a good point. We keep coming to a kickoff, uh, another sports panel thing with Renee, Booker, Beth, and Joe. So at least we had Joe there, and we have Renee there. Because Booker and Beth, look, Beth, I'm sure she's a lovely woman, and I'm sure she's very nice, but she is not good uh, at the talking. She's not good at the talking at all. Yeah, Renee, Neither am Renee I. and Joe, if they just had those two on here, yeah. would have been great yeah. back and forth. They could banter. <laughs> You got the heel face dynamic already built in there. You didn't need four people yeah, on there. You didn't need Booker there with his Booker Bonics, as I call them. Um, look, I'm not a great talker either, but I'm also not on, you know, on TV in a billion dollar company. Yeah. So, but yeah, Renee. Uh, and Joe, I'm saying. It was. I didn't think Beth sounded that. You met Booker. Yeah. Joe, though, it was great there, and his hat being too small for his head. Which you know about because you got some. We're actually going to be going to the Five Northwest Wrestling Show next Saturday. And I am going to be dressed up as Willy Wonka. It's going to be costume stuff, so check his social media. Um, I want to make mention really quickly before we get on with this. And I'll probably mention at the end of the review. Get on. Listen. <laughs> uh, next week, we're going to an NXT show on Friday. So we're not going to be watching SmackDown Live. I'm going to record... You're watching SmackDown recorded moments yeah. earlier. I'm going to record it at my house and just watch it, and I'll review it. Because you, you'll you be tired. Yes. And, I mean, I'll be tired, but I'll just review it, and then I'll have the solo review up at some point. Realistically, I don't think it's going to be that miss... Or it's going to be that must-see, because they're building up to Crown Jewel 2, Electric Bone Solo. Yeah. So... Uh, we then have Joe Buck and Troy Aikman, and everything came to a screeching halt because Joe Buck is one of the worst damn things that happened to sports. It really didn't come to a screeching halt, in my opinion. I barely remembered it happened. I know, but Joe Buck's an idiot. Okay. At least a commentary. Troy Aikman has had way too many head injuries to keep doing commentary. Get uh, Tony Romo. He can see into the future. Uh, it's scary how he can fucking do that. That is actually frightening. Uh, Baron Corbin versus Chad Gable. We've seen it. And then they have oh, no. Chad Gable's entrance thing as Shorty Gable. So, yeah, so and in the spirit of all things WWE, after a fantastic showing from Chad Gable, yep. a few really good tosses from Baron Corbin. 50-50 um, booking. End of days. Corbin wins. Look, 50-50 booking doesn't work. No matter who you want to push, it doesn't work. And I'm sorry, Shorty but Gable... Food, you have been... Shorty Gable is not going to work. I don't care. Yes, the crowd's behind Gable. It's Ugh. stupid. It's stupid because it's pointless. It's appealing to kids. And reminder, kids are stupid. Uh, who, what, who said that? I, it just seems like it would be appealing to kids. What would? This whole Shorty Gable thing. Or it's just appealing to Vince, who's basically a big kid anyway. Mommy, wow! I'm a big kid now! He would say that. It just is not a good idea. It's yeah. just not. And maybe I'm just a disinterested we need, fan. We need to get him on a different opponent. Have him beat Baron Corbin definitively. At some point. Soon. Maybe on Raw. Soon. And then have him fight with other people. For the love of God. Because it's not a good feud. I'm sorry. The matches haven't been that horrible. They've gotten better. I'm not interested personally, but I know some are. Anyway, we get in and Bill guys talking about their favorite wrestlers. Yeah. And Terry Bradshaw mentioned Dusty Rhodes, and I think he was the most current one that got mentioned. Terry Bradshaw, I'm very worried about him. But anyway, we get... He's old. Yes, and also all the injuries. So, we get more draft picks, which means we get to see more of Stephanie. I'll buy my favorite. I'm just going to say it. She puts the C in McMahon, the stupid cunt that she is. Um, so, we're going to get on to more of that. There is a C in McMahon. 
She puts the seed in McMahon. It took you as... All right. Uh, Randy Orton goes to Raw. USA Network apparently likes race. I would have thought he would have stayed on SmackDown given his hatred of black mm -hmm. people. Uh, Sasha to SmackDown. That The hair makes sense. Ricochet to Raw. Ricochet. And then we get Braun to SmackDown so he can job over there now. And then we get Lashley. Crackdown. We then get Lashley to Raw. So more fucked up storylines can happen well, with Lashley. According, I mean, judging from his activities with Lana, he prefers it that way. He does. So, so fucking stupid storyline. Yes, it is. It just, stop being dumb. Heyman, speaking of dumb, here's Heyman, who's responsible for the cucking storylines. He has to be. Mm. Uh, we get Heyman and Brock. It's hyped to face... Cain yep. Velasquez at Crown Jewel. Uh, Cain Velasquez, by the way, who needs knee surgery at some point, or otherwise his leg's probably going to explode. Um, allegedly, reportedly, he signed a multi-year contract with WWE. I hope it works out for him. Eh, it might. Um, but cool, it's just more hype stuff, whatever. It is what it is. We didn't get Rain Kane. Well, at least Dominic wasn't there to cut a goddamn promo, but Kane Velasquez, I'm sorry. Why do you even have to mention him? Because he's going to appear at some point. I'm going to hate it. Okay, uh, Kane Vel for then. Kane Velasquez is there. And I'm sorry, but don't ever put a microphone in front of Kane Velasquez again. What? All he did was speak Spanish. No, he spoke a little English. Didn't really. I did. I don't know. You, Ray, when Ray's your best promo guy out of anybody in the group, and I'm talking in the four guys there, that's not saying much. I like Ray. Ray's got much better at promos. Yeah. I just don't care about this. It's, they're catching up to you. Yeah, it's a feud being set up for Saudi Arabia. Of course we don't care about it. Well, yeah, because who cares about that? I mean, the Saudi prince is uh, sharpening his bone saw. I may be off that day. And if I'm off that day, guess what? You're going to get a review full of a lot of jokes. And if you don't like jokes, why are you watching this channel? Because that's I pretty recommend much what... sleep in, relax, buy a bunch of candy, wait for the kids to show up, and then turn off all of the lights and hide. Except it's going to be on earlier in the day so I can just I'm gonna hide anyway did I mention anything about Crown Jewel and any of that day's plans no that exactly. I don't actually don't worry about it that's what you're gonna do um no no I'm just gonna do it and make jokes so uh we get New Day back there Kofi seems really upset yeah. about losing the championship he doesn't seem upset at all Chris yeah he's even very celebratory he even made a bunch of pancakes and is not talking on the mic today well it just well no he didn't talk on the mic a little bit later. Luigi moment there. <laughs> so we get Susan G scamming with New Day. Let me say this about the two women. I'm glad they beat breast cancer. I'm glad for anybody yes. that beat breast cancer. Susan G Komen can suck rocks and get hit by a goddamn meteor for all I care. At least the headquarters, maybe without the people in there. But seriously, it's a fucking scam. Donate to actual charities and causes that actually want to you know help and not just be for profit. So, Styles, Gallows, and Anderson versus New Day. And, bo holy crap, Fox put three black men over three southern men. It's a Christmas Day miracle. Christmas New Day miracle. <laughs> Can you tell that we're tired and we just really don't care? It's the end of the week. I had to deal with insomnia midway through it, and I'm still kind of off and on on how much energy I have. Fair enough and in, insomnia. I know how that is, though. I dealt with it. So, yeah, cool. The match is fine. Yeah. Kofi pins AJ. Uh, because, you know... Of course, the, baby. The, uh, the Octavius are going to... Uh, are going to rot. That's what I'm going to call them. The auto um, Octavius. The auto Octavius are going to rot. Because Octopus is taken. Yeah, that's a good point. Jonathan Gresham, very good. Anyway, we get recaps of Seth and Bray. Okay. Well, th what happened earlier? Not from Hell in a Cell. Yeah. They don't want to revisit that. Though it happened, we won't forget that it happened. Never forget it. Yeah. Alexa to Raw. Cool. Whatever. Lacey Already. to SmackDown. Good job. Of course, a Southern woman that seems to, you know, fit in with Fox's, uh, you know, gimmick would actually work. I'm not saying Lacey's like that, but of course well, it's like her. not a gimmick. It's a way of life. That's true. Shep Smith finally leaving. Uh, hopefully going to a better network. Owens on Raw. I'm not shocked. Yeah. So much for Owens beating Brock at any point. Sorry, I didn't think it was going to happen. Yeah, it might be better for him to challenge for the Universal title again. Beat Rollins. Yeah, get the title off of Rollins and switch Rollins heel for the love of fucking Christ. Revival on SmackDown. They're SmackDown Tag Team Champions. Yes. Natty on Raw. Good. Oh. Celebrating, uh, separating 
Lacey Evans and Natty is a good idea. Yes. Because we don't need that feud continuing. It wasn't that the matches were bad, the feud just was unnecessary because I only really think- Familiarity breeds contempt and we were about as familiar with their feud as we could be. Right, we then get the Viking Raiders to Raw, the Lucha House Party, or the Loser House Party as Nigel used to call them, the SmackDown, Nikki Cross to Raw. We're keeping Nikki and Alexa together. Lucha, and there's Lucha. <laughs> and apparently Amber Moon is injured, I hope she's okay. Good, good for her on the gain some time off if she needs it, but hopefully she's actually not hurt. Uh, heavy Machinery to SmackDown, Street Profits to Raw. Let the fucking Street Profits wrestle, we keep putting them in backstage segments, I'm done. Because they either make profits or they'll end up on the street. Meanwhile, I'm, I'm back at the plot. I'm disappointed I didn't come up with that. So we get a uh, recap of Fury and uh, Tyson Fury. Fury! Hating, <laughs> hating, hating gay people and uh, Braun Strowman, who doesn't hate gay people. And I watched the press conference that they did to hype up Kane, Brock, uh, Fury, and Strowman today. Yes. It was 30 minutes of my life I'll never get back. Yeah, that sounds about right. So, yeah, yeah, we then get Jay Glazer doing some comedy shit. Uh, please stop doing this, Fox. You're not funny. Yeah. You're also run by racists. Ah, but then we get to the only terrific moment of the night. Charlotte makes her entrance. Yes, and that was the end of the show. I'm sorry. No, it's just nothing. We, we lied. Right, we did. We totally lied. Oh, did we? Except after we got back from commercial break and waited an ass long amount of time, Bailey arrives to the ring with a hoodie on, so we already know that something is up. Yeah. Um, she does. She, well, she's decided to let her hair down and cut it. Looks uh, good. Yeah. Bailey wants to speak to your manager now. <laughs> uh, uh, her new gear is a tribute to uh, Dusty Rhodes with the black and gold, and also AEW with gold and black. Uh, <laughs> but the second that she kind of walked past her Bailey buddies, she stopped. The music stopped. She walked back behind them, pulled out this little bladed tool, and then just went to town and hacked them to pieces. Cause she ain't your buddy, pal. She ain't your... I, I know people where that's their kink, by the way. Watching professional wrestlers destroy two men? No, no, having a tool flogged on... The... I'm gonna move on from this, mm. actually. Let's switch it up. But... <laughs> nice. I, I like this, though. Mm. I like this. I thought it was pretty goddamn good. Yeah. The match was decent for what it was. Bailey and Charlotte. It was for the SmackDown Live Women's title. Where Charlotte had just won it a few days before. We didn't know why. Charlotte was bleeding at one point. Uh, did not make her the victor, as you would say. Exactly. But stop with the moonsault unless you're going to commit to it, Charlotte. I don't want you to get hurt. Or alternatively, commit to the full rotation. I'm really worried that, and I'm serious, I'm worried- Because you bring your knees in, which gives you more rotation, but that causes a problem in which your knees hit the floor first, and that's gonna wreck you one day. If it hasn't already, I mean, fucking yeah. Christ. But there were um, some good near falls and stuff. I, I, and... I would have to say, Charlotte, although she got a bit too much offense in, in my opinion, um, I like how it was kind of dismantling all of Bailey's finishers. Yes. Bailey the belly isn't gonna work anymore. No. The elbow drop isn't gonna work anymore. No. But she decided, by the end of this match, to use the most powerful move in wrestling. Which was the roll up, the yes. inside cradle, actually. Yeah. After countering the natural selection, we'll kind of know selling it. She does that, and Bailey wins. And then has new theme music, which I'm certain. Yeah, what she did though is uh, Charlotte was going to go for the figure four and then the figure eight. Yeah. But before she could even get into the figure four, Bailey grabs her by the hair and then rolls her back and then grabs sets her, her for the cradle. Grabs her by her weave. Um, so yeah, then has new theme music, celebrates with the championship, says to the fans, screw all of you, essentially. And that's the end of the show. C plus. Yeah. C plus. I like this new turn for Bailey. This was the it was a great moment for her. Yeah. Finally. Please keep the title. She's on got her. character development. Build to her and Char or no, build to her and Sasha yeah. at Mania. Why not? Give them 20 minutes. You already make Mania about a 10 hour show anyway. <laughs> um, but anyway, C plus for me, what do you think? Uh, C plus plus? Uh, hey. programming jokes. Uh, anyway, there is a poll right up here. And if you can see sharp, you can see what you want to grade the show. Or leave a comment down below. 
Hit like, dislike, hit subscribe, hit the bell, you know what to do. Right, once again, no live review or no review right afterwards next week. We'll announce that on Raw, we'll announce that on AEW and stuff like that. But just want to let you know now, NXT, NXT show the 18th and Defy show the 19th. So we're going to be tired. Yeah, busy, busy. But, busy, 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 busy. Right. I'm John Ripley and this is... Busy, busy, busy. You know what? Yeah, yeah that. Right there. Dude.